All right, question of the week in lecture review number 39. Our question is, which of the following muscles is the deepest muscle of the back? Is it going to be A, semispinalis capitis, B, multifidi, C, rotors, or D, spinalis? One more time. Which of the following muscles is the deepest muscle of the back? Semispinalis capitis, the multifidi, the rotors, or spinalis? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which of the following muscles is the deepest muscle of the back? And we had a great turnout here. We had 51 votes. 6% of you said it was going to be the semispinalis capitis. 20% of you said it was going to be the multifidi. 24% of you said it was going to be the rotors. And then 51% of you said it was going to be spinalis. And then thank you to the 13 people who liked this post. So a majority of you said it was going to be spinalis. So let's go ahead and see if this is the correct answer. So here we have the spinalis, and the spinalis is going to be the most medial of the erector spinae group muscles. Now these are all the deeper muscles of the back. Now although the spinalis is one of the deeper muscles of the back, it is more superficial than the transversal spinalis group, which is going to be the motifidi, rotorers, and the semispinalis capitis. So spinalis is not the correct answer. Now these three right here, the semispinalis capitis, the multifidi, and the rotorers are all known as the transversal spinalis group, which are going to be much deeper than the spinalis, which is part of the erector spinae group. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at these. We have the semispinalis capitis, which is going to be this muscle right here. And this muscle is going to be part of the transversal spinalis group. Now this muscle is not going to be the deepest muscle of the back because in between the transverse and spinous processes of the vertebral column, we have what's known as the lamina groove, which is going to be right between these two bony landmarks. And there are going to to be deeper muscles between that, which are going to be the multifidi and the rotorers. So semispinalis capitis is not going to be the correct answer. So we are left with either the multifidi or the rotorers. So let's see which one of these is the correct answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the multifidi. And here we have the multifidi, which is going to sit in between the transverse process and the spinous process of the vertebral column. And so here you have it all the way running up the vertebral column. Now, this muscle is also not going to be the deepest because underneath the multifidi we have the rotorers. And we cannot even see the rotorers underneath this because the multifidi are covering them up. So here are the rotorers, which is going to be the deepest muscle of the back in this group. So out of these four muscles, the correct answer is the rotorers are the deepest muscle of the back. 24% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page where I dive much deeper into this material. It's very important that you understand the deeper muscles of the back, such as the erector spinae group and the transversal spinalis group. This information may end up showing up on the Imblex in the kinesiology portion of that exam. So I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page if you did not get this answer correct. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.